This summer, we took 24,000 watts and put it into a Power Wheels toy. Unfortunately, it couldn't handle the torque of this kit from Electro & Co. So today, we're removing the whole thing and putting it into a go-kart, which we think will be able to handle the power and make the ultimate sleeper go-kart. Oh, this thing really hits different. This is what I call Project Purgatory. All this stuff is gonna turn into something someday. But for now, we gotta see the condition of this power plant and liberate it so we can put it into our go-kart. I have a premium idea. This thing is so much fun to drive. It's definitely the most useful thing we've ever built. go-kart. It is by far the best deal we've ever gotten on a go-kart. One, it's an adult size and it's professional. It's actually really nice. We'll got this for 1500 bucks. So this, with that power plant, it's going to be very fun. Alright, you get to be the first one to test this go-kart off-road. Alright, I'm getting in. Just don't put me into a tree. <laughs> Oh, we're not going to go too fast. I'm not going right there. I'm not going right there. Oh, it's so sketchy. I think I've I've reached max damage. I'm really happy with my position. Trade me, Steven. Yeah, I'll drive and I'll just try not to kill him. Oh, this is a much nicer seat. Man, with Will driving, I was willing to be in here when I thought Steven was driving. I just wanted to get a shot at you, my guy. You gotta experience the premium quality of that ride. Does the brake work? Kind of. Okay. The steering kind of works sometimes too. Okay. The seat is touching the ground already. I know. It really hurts when you hit a bump. I didn't realize the seat is actually dragging the entire time, even on this flat gravel. Yeah. Man, that would really hurt if that had shattered and gone up. Uh, I like that this, probably the most dangerous thing anyone's done on the property in months, uh -huh. no one was wearing a helmet. I know, that's what I was talking about. Steven was up. getting pummeled by Raj, he's like, no! Yeah. You should get a helmet and we should take you for a quick walk. No, lap. I'm not doing that. That looks so <laughs> uncomfortable. <laughs> it's fine if you hold yourself up in the seat. Uh, you know it's bad if Will doesn't even want to do it. Right here, we'll... My ideas are getting less and less receptive to the group. It used to, pretty quickly, my ideas came down to just Will and I are down. And now it's like even Will isn't down. <laughs> Not for that. <laughs> that <laughs> looked painful. <laughs> We'll start dissecting it here because it's kind of a workbench. Uh, oh, yeah. What do you got under there? I'll show you. First, we have to assess the damage. 
Surprisingly, we didn't bend anything. I thought maybe like the rotor would definitely hit, but it looks like the rotor's fine. Uh, the seat is not fine, but we'll lift it, put a, you know, maybe refiberglass it or just nah, put, a, put a plastic seat. So today is the day. This build will get the ripstick I bought almost a year ago. And then now, we'll what be able was to that rip ripstick originally for? The BRZ. Oh. Uh, so. I hate to burst your bubble. I know you're gonna put it on there anyway, and I know you don't care, uh -huh. but that is completely redundant because this only has rear brakes. Yeah, if you put a T so. right here, you'd just be pumping fluid into this instead of to the brakes, so it wouldn't work at all. I'm, I'm sure there is a way to do that. I'd have to think about it for a minute, but... Okay. We got a lot of work to do, so, you know, if you come up with the plan... Uh, was, I'm, I'm not sure. coming up with a plan for your ripstick. That's just so, so unnecessary. <laughs> all right, let's build this thing. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> oh, I When Ethan designed this, he designed it kind of for like a one-use situation. We so. can remove the motor, but we'd have to take the whole body off because it sounds like we're not going to be using this again. Kind of destroyed the body a little too much, I think. So much power for such a small package. That's yeah. I think we got a situation. In there. There's a situation. He's trying to hide it. <laughs> That's ten push-ups. Wow. Well. If you wire this back in, mm -hmm. plug in the battery, and make sure it works before we yeah, get too dedicated. That. All right. Do that. Ready to plug things in? I'm so excited. I love playing with electricity. Like, Was there anything in this B minus port? <laughs> the battery, Edwin. What? You have the negative going to the B positive and the positive going to just some random bolt. But this is red. Look. No, there was nothing there. But it's red. You, this is a yeah. fuse. Oh. <laughs> I should not be trusted. <laughs> Ready? Just yeah. a little finesse. Oh, oh. Hey, it works! That works. That has so much Dude, torque. That was the smallest amount of throttle I could have possibly given it. So now we know everything works. Now we yeah. just need to transfer it. So we should probably just figure out the sprocket situation first. It's okay. the same as that other bolt pattern, so we can just measure that sprocket there. Okay, so I'm spending some time on CAD. It's a uh, bolt pattern that we're gonna stamp right here. This will be an easy way to just kind of slap it on there, get the machine to cut it out, and see if it works. So I'm helping Will out here with his uh, go-kart sprocket situation. Turn the torch on, and I'll let you do the honors. Yes. We love the Arc Droid, and I think you will too. So we're giving away a brand new Arc Droid and Everlast plasma cutter. There's only three days left to enter, so go check it out in the description below. Cheers. So we got a bolt pattern in our sprocket, but um, to make it easier on ourselves, we're gonna go ahead and cut it in half like this one, a split sprocket, so that we don't have to disassemble everything to uh, put it on there. Just makes everything way easier. This is how a lot of go-kart sprockets are, so we'll just do the uh, crude grinder version of this, and then we'll be donutting in no time. <laughs> So I have a fear about these blades. You should. They scare me a little bit. Nice. Hey, 
everything seems to be coming together pretty well. I already made a rear sprocket for this, which was like the hardest thing and the thing that we needed Ethan for with like a little mathematical equations and stuff. Basically, I'm gonna take this tire off, rotate this, make him out for this, install the battery and stuff, and we'll just send. Let's do it. Let's go. All right, so we got the motor all mounted up. We've got the mounts right here. We got the chain on. It's honestly coming together way better than I thought it was going to. And so now it's gonna tension this, but I have to make something here that rides along this circle. So when you go like this, you can actually like change the tension of the chain. Because right now it would just like yoink, and like fly off and like maybe hit you or something. It'd be really dangerous. So. I'm gonna make some supports here, probably make a bracket right here that they go to, to make it extra strong. Watch your eyes, Steven. Can you turn up? Will's cutting out the motor mount for the 24 kilowatt motor. This is a little Walmart bike that we put the Electro & Co 14 kilowatt kit into. So we got 10 more kilowatts going into the go-kart. And, and this, this is, thing rips. This will rip your arms off. But fits in the back of the Tesla. Isn't that cool? Yeah, that's pretty cool. I really cool. wasn't sure if it was going to fit. I literally or not. asked you just a couple seconds ago. I was like, where's the green bike? Yeah. <laughs> You're like, you said you brought it, but yeah. where is it? Oh, oh there he goes. Oh my gosh, that is so sketchy. I just have this weird feeling that I'm gonna get shocked today, I don't know why. Basically, now this is a slider that bolts to the motor and can slide to tension the motor. I'm gonna make two of these, one for one side, one for the other side. And uh, Ethan came in here and berated me for making children's parts because all my stuff looks like very log style. So I added some circles. He usually adds hexagons. So you can tell that this is his piece and this is my piece, but I don't really know. Like I tried to add the hexagons and it just wasn't working out. So I just said, Let's put some circles there and make it look very premium. I was thinking- It's Swindle Willie edition. You gotta yeah, have your own I was thinking of like adding like shapes of the moon. Yeah, that'd be, that'd cool. be cool. <laughs> Please don't burn my hand. There we go. So she's all mounted up. Yeah, I think we get to do a test drive today. I'm so excited. But I'm not gonna get ahead of myself. I'm gonna make mounts for the ECU and everything, but I'm pretty proud of this mount situation. Honestly, that doesn't look bad if you can make a mount for that. Yeah, you could make a mount for that, but then when it travels down, that's gonna hit the bottom. Oh, hey, add one. How's it cracking, man? We are cracking right along. Check out this mounting situation. Dude. That's all plugged in. That's plugged in. We're good to go there. Oh, wait, you got it? Yeah, I got it. The tires are spinning the wrong way, but... Ha <laughs> ha! 
Yikes. Oh, that's scary. That's very scary. So the motor is going backwards right now, so we'd just be in reverse the whole time, which is kind of janky. But I think if we switch these wires, if it's like a drone or anything, because I used to build those, uh, the brushless motor, if we just replace like blue with green or something, it should spin the other way. Wire colors are switched. It should go the other way now. Send it, my guy. Um, I don't like that. Uh oh. The only thing that could have possibly gone wrong has gone wrong. And I thought it would be a simple fix, but it's turning out to be way more complicated than I thought. It sounds like Murphy's Law, my guy. Okay, time to call Edwin. <laughs> yeah. There's, but there's no way they made a kit that can't swap directions. There's no way. What was that uh, shocking no that you just said? Dude, all of this has to go on the other side. Seriously? Yeah. That motor isn't reversible? No. Oh, oh man. man. Oh. oh. Yeah, so I just got off the phone with Edwin, who got off the phone with the guy who's made this whole thing, and it turns out that this motor doesn't go backwards. Uh, it's built into the battery control module. It's probably a safety feature or something. So we have to send this back to the guy and get it reprogrammed to drive this way. But he's sending us a better battery as well and hopefully it will all get here pretty quick. You might be like, oh, we'll just cut the motor mounts and weld it on that side. And that was my original plan. And then I started looking at it. There's no keyway on that uh, shaft for any of the drive unit. So we'd have to flip this all around. Then that would put the brake on this side. We'd have to figure out how to mount the brake on that side. There's no two tubes here. This was never made to have a motor here, so it's like totally wrong proportions and everything. So it's just like way too much work. At the end of the day, we'll have a go-kart that could drive backwards, and then in two weeks, we'll have a go-kart that could go forwards fairly, really fast. I'm just gonna continue to build this project, and we'll figure it out later. This is so overkill. Ethan's gonna look at this and be like, you could have just used a little bit of metal. And I'll be like, this is more strong, Ethan. I mean, it's two bolts, but like, those are so beefy and this is so light. That should do. I'll put one more bracket there. Probably just use the same bracket and then we'll be good. Uh, this is the last mount. I made it extra long and I was gonna make like an extension to this bracket, but I realized there's a motor mount right here that's not being used. And it will actually just bolt right onto the oh, motor. So then we just bolt it up with this nice little bolt, make it look all pretty. Now there's three brackets and like without it even being bolted at all, it just like held together. Oh, it's sturdier smooth. than the rest of the car. Yeah, serious. So this is the little module that reads um, like what position it is for speed. If you pull it, it will give you throttle. I'll give the computer inputs to make it go fast or slow. Premium. Good to go. It's like the best throttle I've ever made. Makes sense, because it's just electronics, so. I used to do electronics before I did this, so this is like a piece of cake. Engines, I just kind of taught myself off YouTube, so it's kind of ironic that I build engines for YouTube now. Once 
once I plug the battery in, the throttle should work. We've got everything mounted up this time. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that is so awesome. Well, if only it went the right way. <laughs> So basically what I did is I just took this and it was at an angle like this um, for a gas tank. I just cut it off at the bottom and I'm just gonna rotate it. And that should give us enough space for a nine by nine by nine battery because there's a whole bunch of space down here. I'll just flip my little switch mount on the other side. We'll just tack it on and see how it goes. See if I have enough space to still sit in here without hitting anything. Oh yeah, that will do. I think we have enough space for the battery, but just to be safe, I made these little uh, spacers that lift it up uh, to one and a half inches. about to take this for first rip. We only have reverse, but we just found out that it also goes forward. Yeah. For the record, Steven and I both thought the right course of action was to put a chain guard before doing this. That takes a lot of time. and We don't have time. So <laughs> I think it's time to just set it I told you your tire slide and then you burn out into the golf cart. It goes full throttle, that's why it hit the golf cart. Because <laughs> you can't control it. I don't think it's gonna be reverse donuts. No, I don't think Maybe so. Maybe in the gravel. Yeah. <laughs> it's too much power in reverse. <laughs> I can't wait until it's going in the right direction. I know. Oh, I know. You just need more weight in the front. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> I thought maybe if I got more weight over the tires, it would donut. Try going forward with me standing on the back. Think of the wheelies? Well, I don't know. <laughs> oh, oh my god! How did it get that much lift? I don't know. Yeah. One, two, three. <laughs> That's what I've been waiting for. <laughs> Why did it go on its own? Oh, oh my god. I'm glad we had this nice crunch bar. <laughs> did you see me take my foot all the way off the throttle? Dude, there was sparks flying for a minute. What was that coming from? I think maybe the sprocket touched the pavement. Yeah, it did. <laughs> that safety bumper really absorbed a lot of my impact, though. I'm very thankful for that. Yeah. Cruise control! <laughs> I feel like something bad about that. <laughs> you called it. <laughs> He's got two phones in his back pocket. <laughs> <laughs> That was so scary, man. That was, that was terrifying. Oh, dude, I like saw you get all the way out of your seat, and I was thinking if something 
happens, how is he gonna turn it off now? Well, I really think it did its job, but it absorbed it my actually impact. actually saved your life, yeah, I think. Fast. If you had hit that, yeah. you really could have gotten damaged. You could have gotten <laughs> damaged too, dude. I you aimed it. You barely made it out of it. I aimed it right out the door, though. When we were in the cart, we were pressing harder because it's your foot and it's harder to control. This piece of plastic gets caught on and that piece of plastic. And then it holds you pinned, full throttle. Hey, if we just back this screw out. And we'll fix our issue. It'll fix it. Dude, this is gonna shred on the street. I can't like, believe how fast it's gonna be. This goes so hard, even in reverse. Forward, it makes so many cool drift marks on the on the pavement. It's amazing. All right, so we got the controller back, and hopefully it's in the right direction now. Everything's tightened down, buttons are tight. This doesn't overextend itself anymore, so we're not gonna hopefully go full throttle. Just gotta screw everything back together and send it. We just got the speed controller back from Electro & Co, and this time it's in the right direction, so we are gonna be able to go really fast forwards. Well, Wait, let's clear some there. room for activities. Okay. <laughs> well, how excited are you, Will? I'm very excited. I feel like a little janky because there's all this electricity around me, and I'm just worried that there will be a loose bolt and it will be like <laughs> This is like owning a Formula One car you can drive in your mother's living room. <laughs> that is exactly Amazing. what it's like. It's like those spray paint artists, you know? You just go around. <laughs> yeah. We should yeah. do burnouts on a canvas and like yeah. sell it to people. Sell it to people. <laughs> Well, you need to calm down. If you go through the door, you're buying it. Okay, deal. I'll go. It's a $6,000 garage door. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a cigar shop up here, hey, grind card edition. Like you got it, man. It's fun, man. I've already done like four seconds so. Being the second person to drive a will project is always very concerning. <laughs> you never know what you're gonna get. <laughs> As far as I know, it's never happened. Are there any tires left? What the heck? I'm surprised there's any tires left. No! I had to stand it's up. It's like when the Formula One car's coming to pit, it's blistering. Oh my. <laughs> I had never seen anything like that before. It was something we did. That thing is cooking. We are actually blistering tires up here in Grindhard. <laughs> my feet are sticking to the floor. Yeah. 
<laughs> oh, this thing really hits different. That I is know. so much fun. Jeez. I can't even believe how much fun this would be out on the road fast. We can go in a straight line now. Time to rip her outside. <laughs> When that thing gets traction, dude, it is gonna be so Oh! The wheels are going like four times faster than the cart. Dude, it looks like a blender. Like it's turning the dirt into a protein smoothie. Imagine how fast it would be with On traction. On dirt tires, you will be able to shred, bro. <laughs> Were you expecting it to be that fast? No, I, it, last time it didn't do anything in the dirt. This time it went nice all over the place. <laughs> I think we should put tracks on the back and little skis on the front and then just go premium speeds up groomed snowmobile trails. Oh yeah, that'd be sick. That's actually a great idea. Yeah. <laughs> Ethan said one of my ideas are great! <laughs> That's premium! Well, I don't think I've seen anybody put tracks and skis on a, like, racing yeah. cart. Let's that would be sick. go! I mean, you won't be able to go far, the range will be terrible, but it'll be- it'll look super cool. It'll be really cool when it's going. And now that I've seen you do it, I know exactly how wet and muddy I'm about to You're be. about to get blasted, dude. One does not miss an opportunity like this, Nah, though. no, it's really fun. This is the kind of machine Edwin likes. Ah. <laughs> this is so <laughs> premium! <laughs> yeah. Holy smokes, is this going to be faster than anything I've probably ever driven on pavement? Two inches away of being the first one through Ethan's new fence. We've all been through his old fence. <laughs> <Pretty hot. laughs> yeah, I got grains of salt and dirt. In oh, house. nice. I think Steve-O got sprayed a little yeah. bit too. That's <laughs> yeah, we're definitely covered in dog food. But <laughs> yeah. We smelled a suspicious smell when we came in here and we were like, that smells like dog poop. And unfortunately, I think it's mostly me. I did have a change of clothes, luckily, but... Shoo, do not touch those. Our Tesla dual motor is like the fastest car on the property, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry. 4,060 pounds, 377 foot-pounds of torque. So it's like 10.7. Yeah. Let's see what we're looking at. This we're is doing. the most premium weighing situation we've ever had. <laughs> What's your guess, Will? Uh, 175. Even I was gonna say something like, yeah, 180 was a <laughs> guess. 200. 200 pounds. Two pounds. I guess I was closest by <laughs> yeah. saying 180. 2.2. 2.2 pounds per torque? It's over four times. A Tesla? The Tesla at the property? Yep. Nice! <laughs> we should do a little drag <laughs> race. So, oh, no. if anyone knows a place, that we can drive this on the road. And drag race the Tesla 
uh, we would super love to do that. So let us know if you have like a nice private airstrip or like a road behind your house that you've never seen a cop on. That'd be nice. Yeah, that'd be really <laughs> nice. And super shouts out to Electro & Co. They do this 24,000 watt kit. They have a bunch of other crazy kits. I think they have a new kit that's gonna be close to 100 horsepower. So any oh. kind of little electric crafting thing. This is the same company that makes my little Razor bikes. Those things will knock you on your butt so quick, they're fast. <laughs> we got a drag race. If you relocate the battery yeah. to the, the back, back with the dirt tires, it'll probably do wheelies on dirt just yeah. with those tires. Cause the Camaro did wheelies on dirt with those tires and it has a front engine. Sure.